Yes, thanks for staying with us on the South Australian Sports Show. Lots happening at the moment, rock around there South is. Australia, isn't there? We've been very fortunate to get the coach and manager. It's a good way to be the coach and manager. You can't sack yourself. Can't sack way. yourself. Of the Recklink Community <laughs> Cup. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about Sean Kemp. Sean, thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Mate, yeah. the, the viewers are going, what's the Rec Link Cup now? We know you played last year and this is the second game here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, Rec Link uh, our Community Cup has been going for about 24 years and it started originally in Melbourne. Uh, get, it was a couple of hotels that were actually pitted against each other uh, and they raised $500 that day. Um, 24 years on, uh, it actually uh, raises over $100,000 uh, annually for wow. Rec Link which is an association which assists disadvantaged people in the community, whether that be homelessness or drug addictions or domestic violence. And basically it's, it's designed for, uh, to help people who can't help themselves. So uh, this is a, a massive facilitator for that. And uh, the Melbourne game, which is uh, obviously of some notoriety, uh, particularly with the amount of celebrities that get involved with it, yep. now attracts up to 15,000 people every year. And I got to experience the Melbourne game um, first up a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And it was an amazing atmosphere. Uh, Ross Wilson uh, from Daddy Cool opened up with Eagle Rock, to which all the players all danced on the oval. <laughs> and uh, what I found <coughs> most marvellous was during the game, I took a little bit of a trundle uh, down to the side of the oval and I looked over and there was a sausage sizzle happening on the oval to which the ball actually bounced off the barbecue. <laughs> a player took a mark and kicked a goal. <laughs> so the match is filled with a lot of uh, frivolity, uh, yeah. a lot of laughter and it's a, it's a community event which brings everyone together. It's basically musicians first media. So what sort of celebrities do you get, like to the Melbourne one? Who, who was there? Uh, well, Ross Wilson, obviously. Yep. Um, you've got, you know, people from big bands like You or My, Spider yep. Bait. And to end the night, Waleed um, from the project actually yep. played guitar with Regurgitator, <coughs> to which Dan Sultan, um, who is an amazing um, Indigenous musician, got up and sang Purple Rain at the end uh, to, to many people singing along to that. Yeah. So um, in Adelaide last year, Penny Wong um, flipped the coin. Um, Graham Corns was the umpire, um, and that explains why there's a lack of interest in the. <laughs> that's no, right. That was <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it, it was it was great on the day. Um, so and let's talk about South Australia though. What celebrities are going to play at Nordo? <coughs> well, well, myself included, of course, yeah, yeah. including yourself. Um, so we've got uh, various musicians from different bands playing, um, uh, the likes of uh, Bad Dreams, who are a great Adelaide band, who are uh, doing a lot of great stuff nationally. Um, we've got um, uh, our, our captain, Coral Chandler, from the Goodbye Horses. Yep. Um, and on the media team, we have uh, different um, people from uh, Radio Adelaide and uh, um, 3D Radio, uh, B-Side Magazine, Up News Australia. So I Radio Adelaide, was, does that mean our great Rob Popplestone's involved? Or? He'll be down there. He's, uh, he's <laughs> promised to buy me a couple of snags before, <laughs> before snags, the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's... Uh, Obviously, a lot more information will get uh, rolled out very soon via our yeah. Facebook page. Uh, but um, yeah, last year we attracted uh, nearly 2,000 people to the game and raised quite a lot of money for Reckling. So that's, you know, at the end of the day, the players know and the crowd know that it's, it's not about the individual, it's about raising money for, um, to, yeah. for people who require these programs um, in order to rebuild their lives. And that's, that's the motto of Reclink, which is rebuilding yeah. lives. Fantastic. All right, yeah. that's uh, the quick answers, mate. It's at Norwood Oval when? Uh, it'll be at Norwood Oval on Sunday, August 7th. Sunday, August 7th, Norwood Oval. Should start at what time? What time should the fans get down there? I think probably about 12, 12.30 would be good. Um, the, the day is very much uh, focused on uh, live entertainment um, and there'll be um, Norwood Oval, who are a great sponsor uh, of us. Yep. They've actually set up barbecues and stalls. Uh, there'll be obviously food and beverage facilities as well and a lot, a lot of different stuff for the kids as well. Um, obviously, you know, a welcome to country. And, and those sort of things. So it's it's a great day and um, hopefully we'll get blessed with a nice day. Mm. So we're confident then that Rob Popplestone won't play because you've mentioned the sausage sizzle, so it'll be hard <laughs> enough to get him past there. Now you've got beverages as well, so he'd be lucky to even <laughs> find the oval. I'm quite, um, I'm quite relieved that he's not playing because uh, I um, had the privilege of uh, seeing him back in the day as a footballer, so um, he would probably be quite dominating out there. No, he wouldn't. 
No, only, no, I won't. No. And there's only room for one, only room for one sentiment, mate, and you're picking the team. So. Yeah, yeah, well, I did pick the team. It was a hard task. Actually, funny you should bring that up because the teams consist of 43 players each team. Really? 43? 43. Right. So there's double ups. We all have a partner. You guys have taken flooding to a whole new level, yeah. haven't you? Well, at the end of the game last year, there was three games of football going on at the same time. Um, we weren't sure what was going on. So, yeah, that's the fun aspect it, of it. It sounds like there's a... I'm sure there's parts of it that are serious in the game, but then there's a whole fun part, which is what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. well, the Rocker Twos, we won, we won the actual uh, title last year, so we have our home clubs, and the Rocker Twos home club is the Grace Emily Hotel, yep. which is located down there on Weymouth Street, mm-hmm. and then the Anchors, which is the media team, the Red and Whites, their home ground club is the Wheat Sheaf Hotel. Both of those two hotels are amazing establishments, um, they're safe environments yep. and for, for uh, family and, and people to go along and visit. And uh, last, we're defending our title this year. So I, I played for the Rock Twos last year after 20 years of not touching a footy because uh, I actually um, played back <laughs> in the in the Daryl Hart days for North yep. Adelaide. Um, and obviously my dad, Des Kemp, uh, was a coach here in, in Adelaide So yep. and also in the Riverland and ACT. So I learned a lot from dad. Um, so th- to get out there and to be coaching at the moment is actually quite an honour. Are you a player coach? Absolutely. So You have got it covered, haven't you? I mean, there'll be a lot of AFL coaches right now <laughs> very envious. I'm the manager, I'm the player, and I'm the coach. Can't get sacked, can play as much as I want. No, pretty, much, want. pretty much do whatever you like. Well, the management side, I've had to try and sort of do that, you know, out of my normal working hours. But uh, it's been great to um, connect with different people from yeah. the community because at the same time, Recklink is also about um, lack, um, emphasising on uh, eliminating isolation in people's lives because it, especially in the music industry as well, <clears throat> it can be, can be quite an environment where you are actually on your own island a lot and I found even last year by all these people coming together and being part of this you get to make new friends and, and connections and networks and I think once those things start happening in people's lives your lives become a lot richer for yeah. it so that you know we're always looking at the bigger picture uh, but yeah yeah the coaching side of it has been great and the coach on the day for the Rockatoos um, is uh, your my uh, front man and legendary musician who recently made his debut on Play School, um, Mr. Tim Rogers. He loves yeah, his footy too, doesn't he? Okay. He played for Sturt back in the yeah. day. Um, and he's the number one ticket holder, I believe, at Sturt Football Club. Okay. So he loves his footy. He's, he, yeah. We got him out there training a couple of weeks ago and he just lapped it up. He was he was <laughs> trying to get every ball and he's still very thin and wiry so yeah. um, he's going to be great to have him on the day. And oh, the coach excellent. of the Anchors I must mention too is a gentleman by the name of Jason Evans and he actually founded the Cup 24 years ago right, so fantastic. he's defected actually. He coached the Rocker Twos last year <laughs> and now he's on the Anchors so we'll, we'll, have, something, we'll have something to say about that and we'll, we've got a, a score to prove with the Anchors so I think it could be quite a marvellous clash. All right, you need to get down there Sunday, August the 7th, 2 o'clock at the Nord Oval. Get there about 12.30. It'll be a lot of fun. Proceeds go to a great cause, Reclink. Stay with us. Still plenty to come on the show.